day grade 12s. Welcome to your second lesson in finance, growth and decay. In this lesson we're going to be looking at some compound interest examples. Our first example is just reminding us about the timeline and the second example is taking us a little bit further than what we usually do with compound interest. So let's get started. 5,000 Rand is invested in the bond market for 8 years. The interest rate for the first 4 years is 7% per annum compounded oopsie. compounded annually, so 7% per annum compounded annually. Three years after the initial investment, another 2,200 Rand is invested. Then the rate increases to 9% per annum compounded quarterly for the next two years. And then finally the rate increases to 10% per annum compounded monthly for the last two years. Calculate the value of the investment at the end of the eight years. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a timeline and I'm going to do it up here. So we've got T0 at which point we invest 5,000 Rand. And the interest rate for the first four years is 7% per annum compounded annually. So therefore, up to T4, the, compound, the interest rate is 7% compounded annually. Okay. Then from T4 to T6, what happens? The rate increases to 9% compounded quarterly. So this is 9% compounded quarterly. And then for the last two years, for the last two years at T8, we have again an increase of 10% and this time it is in compounded monthly. Compounded monthly. Okay. And then to add more stuff to this, it says three years after the initial investment, another 2,200 Rand is investment. So yeah, at T3, we have an investment of plus 2,200 Rand. So if we had to look at this, you would see that we'd actually have quite a few sections. We've got from T0 to T3, that's one. Then from T3 to T4, that's two. T4 to T6 is three and to T6 to T8 is 4. So we need to break this up into four sections and that's why we use a number line. So let's do that. So the first one we're going to do in red because I've started in red and we know that our compound interest rate is A is equal to P 1 plus I all to the power of N. Now the first one is pretty easy. The compound interest rate is 7% compounded annually. So therefore your N is just going to be the number of years, which in this case is going to be 3 years. And your I is going to be 0 0.07 because we took 7 and we divided it by 10, I mean by 100. So now we just substitute N. Now A is going to be 5000 times by 1 plus 0 0.07 all to the power of 3, which is 5,000 times by 1 plus, sorry, 1.07 all to the power of 3. And then we get out our calculator and we clear it. <coughs> and we say, Hexi, right, 1.07 to the power of 3 times by 5, 1, 2, 3. And that gives us 6,125 and 22 cents. 6,125 and 22 cents. So 6,125 and 22 cents. And that is our amount at the end of T3. So T3, we have T3, we've got 6,125 and 22 cents. But now we do something different at T3. What do we do? We add in another 2,200. So now we add in our 2,200 and we end up with 22, 5, 2, 3 and 8. So now that is our principle for our second part. Our principle for our second part is this 8325. So let's just write this down. Our principle is 8325.22. Our interest is now still 7%, 7%, which works out to be 0 0.07. 
our number of years, it's only from T3 to T4, so the number of times is only 1. And therefore we can say A is equal to P times our 1 plus I to the power of N. The principle now is 8325.22 times by 1 plus 0.07 all to the power of 1. Therefore it's just 8325.2 times are 1.07 and we find our calculator and we go clear and we say 8325.22 times 1.07 and we get 8907.99 8907.99 which equals 8907.99 so that is our a at the end of this, but it's also our principle for the next period, so 4P3, and we need purple. For the period 3, okay, we now have a principle, we have a principle of 8907.99. Our interest rate is 9%, but it's compounded quarterly. So now the interest rate is going to be 0 0.09 divided by four and the number of payments it's for two years but there are four payments per year because it's compounded quarterly so n is going to be two times four which equals eight two times four which equals eight so then now we can go a is equal to p which is eight nine zero seven point nine nine times our one plus naught point naught nine over 4 all to the power of 8. So let's pop out our calculator and then let's clear it so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to go 0 0.09 divided by 4 equals and I'm going to add it to 1 and then take it to the power of 8 and then times it by 8907.99 and that works out to be 10,643 Rand and 54 cents. 10,643 Rand and 54 cents. Excellent. So that is the amount at the end of year. So we're at T6. That is our amount. Now we've got our final section to do. What shall we do? We'll do in this item. So this last period, this period four, what do we have? We've got two years. Okay, our interest is 10% monthly. So the interest is going to be 0 0.1 because we divide it by 100, divided by 12, and the number of payments is going to be at two years times by the fact that there are 12 months, 12 which equals 24. So our final one is going to be A is equal to the new principal year which works out to be 10,643.54 times by 1 plus 0 0.1 over 12 all to the power of 24 all to the power of 24 so again we're going to get out our calculator and we're going to clear it so we don't get confused and we're going to go 0 0.1 divided by 12 and then we're going to add 1 to that and then we're going to take it to the power of 24 and then we're going to times about 10643.54 and we end up with 12,989 and 28 cents 12,989 and 28 cents and that is the total amount this person is going to get out after their eight years. So, not too bad. Hey, you just need to break it up into small little bits. And grade 12, don't be scared to use different colors and highlights and such. Remember, the only colors you aren't allowed to use in your exams are red and green. The rest of the colors you're allowed to use as long as it's visible. Let's do another question. It says, John invests 30,000 Rand into AB Bank. If the interest rate is 6% per annum compounded monthly, in how many years will he have made 12,000 Rand interest? 
give the answer to the nearest half year. Sure, so that's a bit different. So let's think about this. Our formula is A equals P 1 plus I to the power of N. Okay. The principal that we're investing is 30,000 Rand. That we know. The principal is 30,000 Rand. The amount out we get is our 30,000 Rand plus our 12,000 Rand interest, which works out to be 42,000 Rand. Okay. The I is 6% per annum compounded monthly. So it's going to be 0.06 divided by 12. Okay. And our N, if we want to know how many years, okay, we need to find out how many times first it is paid. And remember the N year is going to be, well, remember that the N is the number of payments, the number of payments but he is making 12 payments per year okay so therefore this should actually be 12 n but let's solve for n and then we can divide as as, as possible so we've got a is equal to p 1 plus i to the power of n so this bit here is 42,000 is equal to 30,000 1 2 3 1 plus i is 0 0.06 over 12, all to the power of n. So if we divide this, we've got 42,000 divided by 30,000. And those cancel with those. I'll work about that now. And this becomes, this leaves us as 1 plus 0 0.06 over 12 for the minute, all to the power of n. So what can we do? For what goes into both 30 and 42? We can say 6, so that's a 5, and that is a 7. So that's 7 over 5. So now, let us use our calculator. So first of all, 7 divided by 5 works out to be 1.4. So this is 1.4 equals. Now we're going to go 1 plus bracket 0.06 divided by 12 close bracket equals and that's 1.005 so that becomes 1.005 all to the power of n now do you remember your logs let's just look at a little clue okay we've got 2 to the 3 equals 8 then if we've got log 8 base 2 equals 3 that's kind of a little trick clue that I always use to help me remember which way my logs work. Why? Because I need to solve for n and the only way I can do that is if I use a log. So what does this become? This becomes log 1.4 base 1.005 all to the power of n. Now some of you have got awesome calculators that have this little log square square equals and then button and then you can just put in 1.4 over there and 1.005 in there. The rest of us need to remember that we can write this out as log 1.4 all divided by log 1.005 equals n and we're going to do that right now. So we're going to go, let's clear this and then we're going to go log of 1.4 divided by log 1.005 and that becomes 67.46 that therefore is n equals 67.46 payments okay but remember how many payments do we make per year we make 12 payments per year because it's compounded monthly so we now need to divide this by 12 so if we do that divide by 12 and we end up with 5.62 so that becomes 5.62 years and then what did they say give the answer to the nearest half year to the nearest half year so my 5.62 I'm going to convert to being five and a half years so there you go, grade 12s. Not only have we revised timelines in this 
PowerPoint in this lesson, but we've also taught you how to find the number of months using logs. So please go practice that and then go do the assessments at the end of the section. Have a great day.